Let's make one of these confetti cubes together today. I made a template to explain everything first and then I will show you how I, uh, how I make these uh, cubes. Basically, for, uh, uh, if you have a leather size uh, paper or cardstock, you can make three, uh, the biggest uh, cube size you can make is three and a half inch. If you have a 12 by 12 inch paper, you can make four, uh, four inch uh, cubes. Because you need the length of your paper be three times of uh, the cube size you want to make. So when we have a three and a half inch cubes, three times three and a half would be ten and a half. So with the leather size paper, which is 11 inch in length, we only can make three and a half inch cubes. You can make a little bit bigger, but uh, the measurement would be odd and it's difficult to uh, make that. So, uh, so you need a ten and a half inch by eight and a half inch cardstock or paper for a, for three and a half inch cubes. So we measure from a uh, in the length side when in the three, a ten and a half inch side, you uh, make a line at three and a half and at seven. As you can see, I made a line there. Then you rotate your paper and we'll, let me explain it this side. You make a three and a half inch line, then an, another half an inch, another half an inch, then another three and a half inch, and you, you will left with a half an inch or glue side yeah that's it because uh, you uh, you need a uh, for this side you need a three and a half inch uh, square for um, for a, a, for one of the side of the cubes and then two half an inch for the part you need uh, you want to tie your uh, elastic there I will explain everything later but and another three and a half inch for another side of your uh, cube and then half an inch for gluing part to close your cube so um, that's the template so you cut uh, from um, bottom of your paper through the first half an inch score line and then you cut the middle score line there and oh, also you need to score from uh, this point to this point you know to make a 45 degree score line here uh, and there and then you will cut your square in half like that if you want to make a template for yourself and uh, you know draw everything and then cut it if you don't have a, a paper trimmer and scoreboard, you can use this uh, this template to do that. Uh, I will show you. It's very simple. You will cut your paper like this. You need a small hole in this section so you can make it with whatever you have if you have a hole puncher or not you can use something pokey to just make a hole there and in my opinion it doesn't need to be exactly in the center of this side but somehow put it in the center width wide because you don't want to tore your paper uh, or cardstock when you put your elastic there 
okay so uh, then simply you will score your score line and I don't know you know or not you can use your cutting mat or whatever and with a ruler you can score them like that if you want or even use a scoring tool to score first and then score them anyway you you need to score everything inward actually For each cube, you need two of these odd shape cardstock or paper. Okay. And I will show you uh, how you put them together later. Let me show you how I make them. First of all, I will cut the paper in ten and a half. So now, now I have a ten and a half inch by eight and a half inch cardstock. Oh, and and I will explain how you make like smaller size size. So so for that, okay, I have a in a ten and a half inch side. I will score at three and a half and seven. So we will score at three and a half and at seven inch. Then we rotate our paper to the eight and a half inch side. We will score at three and a half, four. Four and a half and eight. Okay. Then we need to score from this corner to this corner of our squares, the outer, uh, the two outer squares. The side that, not that this side that has this half an inch. The top side so the easiest way I found with my scoreboard is using this because it this one is like um, 45 degrees so when I put my paper paper here I can score like that but if you don't have this you simply can use your ruler and your cutting mat and simply score like this see we're all done with our scoring so now for the cut part my trimmer has a line I will show you where it exactly cuts so as you can see, I don't know, you can see the line or not. These are Fiskars trimmers. So then I will cut from this line, the first line of a half an inch, you know, the first line from this three and a half inch square to the bottom of my paper. I will do that to 
box right here. Then we will cut the second score line. I know this is our first score line and ten and a half. Then we have in the four inch and four and a half. We will cut the four inch line through this part. So like that. this too and for this ones the score line is here we will cut from this corner to this corner so as I mentioned because I can see where it exactly go otherwise you can use uh, your scissor or uh, exacto knife and ruler to cut this part it's, it's very simple it's not take nothing special when you know uh, the engineering uh, part the side of this cube these cubes you can make them uh, whatever size you, you like so They take a little bit of time, but they're simple. So then I simply cut these parts. Huh? And for the middle part, I own I simply score this. And then cut my two triangle out, and then we will end up with this odd shape, as you can see. Let me put it there. On top of the white paper, maybe I can see it. So it's something like this. Right. Then we need a hole here as well. So we can use whatever we have. I have a hole punch, so I will use that. But you can use whatever you have. It's not a big deal. You just need small hole that you can put your elastic in I will show you how you should do that so that's it for the scoring and cutting part you need for each cube you need two of these okay I have two of these paper that I Okay. So you score everything to end up with something like this, right? For this part, you know, you score the square line, then the triangle line, and like this. And this part is coming.
I will um, actually I will use a um, wet glue for these uh, things but I don't want to wait to glue it to dry so I will use this and You don't have to, but I like to stick these two parts together. I found um, it makes the squares kind of near, so I will stick these two together, but make sure you leave the hole out. So. And it doesn't have to be complete shot. Oh, by the way, uh, Crafters Companion has a, a cube confetti dies that makes something like that. If you'd like, you can check that out. But I wanted to show you how you can make that, ma make these cubes without having those dies, whatever size you, you like. So I shut that off. Then you will cut. regular elastic and put that in this holes like this tie a knot I think you can see why this uh, that that two half an inch score line we made made these tabs so Then you will so. and okay. And for the gluing part, I found out if you glue this side, you know, the side that doesn't have this this part it would be easier for you to glue it <laughs> the other side later if you glue this side first it's a little bit harder to glue this part so we will glue this side first so we need to i think i made the elastic too tight but it would be fine so then
it's very simple, just draw it and push that in and then glue it together. Voila! You have your cubes. So let go. I, I could have adjust this part. Fortunately, okay. I, I can see. I made two of these for her. So. Okay. okay. Let me explain. If you wanted to, uh, like two inch cubes. So we need a. Uh, the length of our paper be like uh, three times two inch so it would be six inch in length and for the width part we need to have like a two inch for our cube side two half an inch another two inch and another half an inch so it's gonna be two plus one plus two and plus half an inch so it's gonna be uh, five and a half so let me show you okay so for a two inch cube as I mentioned we need like six inch by five and a half so let me Got the five and a half inch side. By six inch. And I think Sarah Crafters Companion Cubes are two inch. I'm not sure, but based on the measurement, I think it, it they are like two inch cubes. Or at most two and a half inch. So and you cut it at then you will score yeah. at the six inch side you will score at two and four then you will rotate your paper at five and a half inch side you will score at two inch half and uh, two and a half three and five okay then you will score your corner to corner Then you will simply because this one is smaller I prefer to use my scissors so. that's it you need two of these for your two inch cube which it's gonna be like this size so okay let me uh, explain how you make the box for your cube like this now you put your cube inside I still need to decorate the cube we made together you put that inside and 
then you open it it's gonna be like that so let me explain how you make this with the three and a half inch um, cubes we have um, if you want uh, to make uh, smaller cubes you need to adjust the measurements of course so so basically with these cubes we have a two and a half inch cube so if when we flatten out we have like seven inch in width uh, or length and three and a half inch in width so because I want to have a little bit of room in my box to put this uh, easily in it so we need to make a box which is uh, like a seven and a quarter by three and three quarter I added like a, a quarter inch to each side so and the side part is like one inch up so basically you need you need a seven and a quarter inch plus two inch for each side so you need nine and a quarter by three and three quarter plus two inch for each side so you need nine and a quarter by five and three quarter inch paper so we cut at our paper here so I need five sorry this side need to be nine and a quarter five and three quarter you can make this part however you like but I made it the simple box so so then and then for each you basically score at every one inch not not every one inch for each side like one inch your rotator paper one inch you rotate rotate it again one inch and rotate again oops okay basically you end up with something like this that you score at one inch from each side Just going the parts together. Let me show you. With some paper clip. Just gluing these parts together. you will end up with your box okay and for the part you want to put this for this part uh, basically you make like match box see this is a match box 
so mm, for this part you, you need a little bit of room to put this in so we have a three and three quarter inch here and seven and a quarter inch here but again you need a little bit of room you, you so I've added like a eighth of an inch to each side so at the end for this size you need a ten and a half inch by I would say like seven and a half inch if if you want to add like a um, quarter inch to the length which I did that's, that's your preference if you want to make it like exactly seven and a half uh, seven and a quarter you can make that too but I prefer this look so so basically you need a paper at seven and a half by ten and a half so I will remove a half an inch from this side and half inch side you will score at three and seven eight of an inch then we score at five inch for our one inch part uh, again at eight and seven eighths of an inch and uh, at ten because we added like half an inch for gluing part so we end up with something like ended up with something like that so we scored at three and seven eight five eight and seven eighths of an inch and ten inch on our ten and a half inch side then we simply Remove our triangle from here and by making the score lines okay. you, you will glue this part to here. I know this measurement works but if you're not sure with your measurement make sure you check that this part will fit here and after that you can glue this part together and you have your matchbox something like that let me decorate my uh, cubes and my box and we will see it together how it looks like see you in a second
really appreciate you being here uh, please like and subscribe and comment below if you liked this tutorial and uh, see you in my next video peace out you